Do you think this is going to be Rangers season? Do you think they have it within the I grasp? I think the momentum's with them. Um, they have to play Celtic on the seventh. Of, I think it's the seventh of April at home. Um, I'll say the exact same about the Scottish League as I did about the English one. There's a lot of football to be played. You know, the Rangers and Celtic never play easy games. Every game for them is a cup final. Uh, so who's, who's going to deal with it? What 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 I will say on this? My experience of Scottish football is this. If you're the top team, you're not getting any criticism. You're sailing off into the sunset without anyone saying anything about you, just how wonderful you are. And if you're the second team, the focus is on you about how everything's wrong at the football club. Mm-hmm. And it could be in times where the top team are not playing as well as the second team, but it still doesn't matter. If you're second in Scotland, you got all the criticism. Yeah, it's and it's how that it's how that is dealt with by the players. Can they deal with that pressure right now? Celtic and the Celtic players have been getting a lot of abuse. That's how they deal with it. Yeah. Up for the last few years, it's been Rangers. Yeah. What, what's uh, what's your what has the new manager done? What is what do you think he has done that's changed them and got? got well, I tell you, what, if you watch them play, you know he doesn't he doesn't overcomplicate it. Um, in terms of they're not rolling it out and trying to play twenty passes inside their own eighteen yard box. He knows he hasn't got the players to do that. Yeah. All the time, um, and he mixes the game up. He'll go long. Uh, play at the right time I think he's gotten really organised yeah. and I just think he's simplified it for them well it's been, it's been a heck of a turnaround Alan and we'll stick with the old firm at the moment because having been seven points behind after losing to Aberdeen in September and that was Michael Beale's last game I was in at charge that game. I was at that game were you at that game Rangers now incredibly two points above Celtic so they lead the way Clement has 22 wins from 26 games he'd agree yeah there's a long way to go we only can talk about our results and they're been really good until now. We, we have a long series of, of wins now. Um, but I look always to the next game. That's my, that's my mentality, that's my character and I know it's also the only way to win trophies and for sure uh, uh, when there are other good teams in the league. So I'm really happy about the, about the three points because it was a difficult game to play in those circumstances. and. Uh, and that we had to play a, a different kind of football, but that's the important thing. The team is now ready also to play different kinds of football, uh, to win it and to win it also um, comfortably uh, in a good way that we, we never were in doubt, not one second during the game. So that's a big step forward uh, with a few months ago. Just to be clear on this, am I right? We've spoken about this before, Graham. Did you buy Frank Lampard getting the job? No, I've Although voiced, Clement really impressed in the interview. No, I said, when we, we interviewed about five or six of them, I said, yeah, it's between those two. I said, the only advantage for me, Frank has over Philippe, is that he's, he'll have some experience of the west of Scotland. His wife is from Northern Ireland, so she will certainly know what it's like. Um, but in terms of his CV, he's got a very impressive CV as well, Philippe. You know, he's he's done well in Belgium, then he went off to the south of France with Monaco. Um he had a little bit of playing career at Coventry, um, but nothing, nothing, I don't believe, no job in football management prepares you for the west of Scotland. It is, it is a, it's another type of Are challenge. Are you always intrigued when you hear that, Alan? Well, I know from uh, obviously being at Newcastle, not too far from that world, uh, how difficult the, the job is in Glasgow. Uh, with it, with the two clubs involved, but the record is that. Did you say twenty two wins in twenty six games? That's right. Is that what you said. Wow. That's right. I mean, that's some record. Yeah. No, he's he's impressive. You meet you know. him, he's impressive. I don't nine care wins could, out of nine. You could say under the two dominant teams, he's always going to have a winning record. But that's still very, very impressive. Yeah. To come in and do that. Had you heard of Clement? I didn't know much about him. Not much. Obviously, you know, you uh, the the thing about. In Europe now, if you do well in Europe, if you if you've got a club and you and you're a success in Europe, you got a good chance of coming to the Premier League or to the to one of the top clubs mm-hmm. in Scotland. It's just how it is. They, they you're perceived as a winner, um, so you know you uh, you were brought in and uh, given your opportunity. But he has definitely taken it. One of the few, by the way, <coughs> who's come in and gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's sort of common sense approach, which is yeah. Not, really not unlike Ange. Ange yeah. is very common sense, isn't he? Yeah. You know, and they talk about Ange Ball and all that, but he's a, when you look, when you <laughs> listen to him, it's just common sense. Jim, Jim, there's no new way of playing football, okay? Yeah. No new way of playing football. Yeah. Don't believe anyone if they tell you, oh, we play a different way now, or some coach has got a new way of playing football. No, they don't. 
Yeah, Clement will know what it's like now. How long did it take you? You knew what you were getting well, into uh, all these years my, ago. My experience is I'm Scottish, not Ranger supporter. Maybe went in there five, six times as a kid because I'm from Edinburgh. My brother Billy took me there for midweek games, European games. I'm Scottish. I've, I've played for Scotland. Um, I've been a big player. And I'm coming back to my Rangers. This will be easy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you know, the, the challenges that you face on a daily basis are are um, quite unique. Mm. Totally unique. And that's why I say it. You know, you, you get n- zero privacy. You know, you think it's bad down here. Multiply it by 10 up there. How did you compare it with a Newcastle job, by the way? Um, Newcastle, I found Newcastle difficult. Mm. I think the circumstances there at the time were, were difficult for any manager. I am... Um, I um, would still say managing managing Rangers and Celtic is as difficult as any job. I had big jobs. You know, I had Galatasaray, a big club. Benfica, a big club. Newcastle, a big club. Liverpool, a big club. Rangers are a big club. But the problems you get at Rangers, I'm going to say this with the risk of upsetting some people in Scotland, the parochial attitude at times is a killer. Mm, yeah. They're looking for things that don't exist. And you've got... A divided city in Glasgow, more than just in the football terms. What parochial attitude amongst the fans, I, amongst I, I, the I'll, media? I'll, I'll, yeah, no, not amongst the media. How, how, how long we got? You know, <laughs> you, you know, you know what yeah. I'm referring to. Yeah. Um, and I just think it's a super difficult job. But he's yeah. this guy's got it. He, he got it right away. He's asked a question when someone, someone so at Sky. Do you, think, do you think it's slightly an advantage that he's? Not too ingrained in the culture, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yes and no. Because Brendan's very much in the culture, right? Yeah, well, he's from Northern Ireland. Of course. He will understand what he was yeah. taking on the first time he went in there. Um, I think he's done remarkably well. I might give you an idea. I got criticised because what you alluded to there, that I had said that Frank Lampard was my first choice. So he's asked this question. Philip Clement has, has been asked this question by some numpty at Sky oh so you're not Graham Soon his first choice and uh-huh. he he saw right through it he says that is not what he said you know they're, they're so pr- it's like you turn up to work it's like coming in here with Simon and Jim looking to poke you and make mischief for you <laughs> multiply that a thousand <laughs> times in the west of Scotland yeah but you knew what you were getting into well, you knew what you were I, getting I, I into just, I just said I didn't and I, it, I, no, I was coming back but from just the the fact that that's the facts but it's not yeah. as if you didn't give them material I know I'm coming into here every Monday you morning you signed Morris Johnson you I knew what you were doing I there I, can't, I know I'm didn't you that was deliberate I'm now hopefully wise certainly old a bit hopefully wiser when I took the Rangers job I was you're not taking me up in that are I, you you I signed was, Mo Johnson I was 33 years old and, and that was the right thing to do I believed at the time it was the right thing to do and Undoubtedly, it was the right thing to do as I sit here today. To sign Johnson. Oh, yeah. 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 He was recognised as the first high profile know, Catholic player to play for the club. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and it was an enormous move that, that poked the fans in the eye of both Rangers and Celtic. Well, didn't it? I'll, I'll tell you what happened there. We signed Morris. So I think it was the third question I'm asked at the press conference when I take the Rangers job. Oh, would you sign a Catholic? I said, Yeah, of course I would. And you can see half the journalists in the room. Look into the, the parochial, yeah, the, the yeah. parochial angle. Look into the ceiling. Yeah, we've heard that before. Um, and a few years later, we did. And and it was it was. I'm proud of it. Yeah, but it was yeah. him though. It was yeah, him. Well, what, well, and what, that was a statement well, in well, itself because it. because as you know, Morris had said he was rejoining Celtic from Nantes. Yeah, but he wasn't. And you the made first your one. move then. I had, John Collins had initially said yes to coming to Rangers. Ray Houghton had said and yes initially. I'll, I'll do it. And they both maybe sat down with the farmers and thought better of it. And Morris was the third one, and Morris Morris went for it. So he deserves an enormous amount of credit for it. Yeah, very brave. But we were we were getting a, a, a top player, had McCoyst and and um, Mark Haley. What big clubs operates with two strikers? We had a chance to get a top player for not a lot of money, and we did the deal. And the upside, what you're referring to, is it made which we didn't take into account at the time. You must have it, known. No, let me explain. It, it, it made. I just thought great addition to the team. What it did to the Celtic supporters, it made them angry towards their board for for maybe a decade. I don't, I don't think, I think it took the best part of, de- of a decade for them to recover from that. Because that really? made them angry towards their board, which obviously didn't make it a happy place. And after a nervy start, Mo Johnson proceeded to be a great player for Rangers. Morris was a fabulous player. And scored for Rangers against Celtic. brave, eye for a goal. Yeah. What was it not to like? Yeah. 
You always look back on that as one a moment of pride for you in what you did yeah, as a manager. I, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because you know, I grew up in Edinburgh. Religion was never a part, never played a part in my house. You know, he's a good guy or a bad guy. Mm. That's all that mattered. Um, and I saw Morris as a top player at, at, at cheap money, and it was cheap money. And then um, we got. I think he, he did well for Rangers. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. You had to hide in supermarkets and things like that for a while, didn't no, you? No, I, I had to sit down the special branch and go through where I went. You know, like, I talked about the west of Scotland. Um, you know, how I drove to work, where I parked my car at night, really? what restaurants did I use. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. Don't worry, we'll be following you along there, mate. We were doing that as well. <laughs> exciting as <laughs> <science. laughs> All right. But do you take Rangers to win the league this season? Um, they're in the box seat. Obviously, I, ho- I, I really, really hope they do. Um, I come back to it, Jim. It's, there's, there's a lot of football to be played up there. But right now, they're the ones sailing off into the sunset without yeah. any criticism. Yeah. And all the focus is on the Celtic team at Parkhead. Yeah. They're the ones getting it in the, in the neck right now. The first time they for deal a while. With. So they, they, exactly. They, yeah, the spotlight's on them, yeah. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.